Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and today's video is Makeup Bag Monday week number 30. Each week I rotate my makeup bag to test out products for a full week of new products sent in, new product launches, or products in my current makeup collection that needs to be rotated in. So you guys really enjoy this video. Every week I give you in-depth reviews on how the products performed after using them for a full week. And then I share with you what will be coming up in the upcoming week. So check back every week for swatches, demos, detailed reviews, and all that fun stuff. If you'd like to see what I thought about last week's products, then just keep on watching. The first product I was testing out last week is the new It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact solid serum foundation. This is in the shade light. It has SPF 50. It's a mineral physical SPF, which is what I recommend for daily sun protection. Now I have mixed feelings about this product. I love their CC plus cream, their original one. And I love their celebration foundations and the pressed CC plus in the powder form. This one is a serum solid product and it does have really nice coverage. It gives you a really full coverage, like medium to full, and it wears nicely throughout the day. My only thing is it doesn't photograph as well as the CC Plus Cream. So the CC Plus Cream is just this beautiful, natural, full coverage, all-in-one product that I think they really can't beat. And this one in person looks great and it gives you the full coverage. It gives you the serum ingredients. It gives you the physical sun protection, but when I'm filming and when I'm shooting photos, I just notice it not translating as well on camera. So for every single day, if you're looking for an all-in-one foundation slash skincare product at an affordable price, because in my opinion, this is quite affordable for the skincare benefits and the coverage that it's offering, plus the physical SPF, it's rare to find something of quality ingredients with that kind of skincare in it. and physical protection for this price point. So it's a very, very good price point for what you're getting. I personally though, if you could only buy one, would still go with the original CC Plus because I think that one just looks a little bit better on camera in real life. And if you're gonna be photographed these days, like everyone's on Instagram, everyone's on Snapchat, like why not go with the one that looks just a little bit better on camera? And it could also just be a personal preference. Like if you don't wanna deal with a liquid, this isn't a cream, it's easy to travel, you throw it in your bag, it's good for touch-ups, whereas the CC cream is a little bit, you know, it's more like a foundation, but it comes in a pump and it's a plastic bottle, so you can still travel with it, it's just a liquid. Next up, we already know I love this, it's the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm obsessed, it's one of my favorites. I just wanted to rotate it in and I'm probably going to keep using it next week as well because it's just that good. It has this beautiful dewy finish to it, so you can use it under your eyes, but definitely set it immediately with powder. But all over the face, I use this as well and I love it. It just looks flawless. It looks like skin. It gives you just the right amount of coverage. You can definitely build up the coverage. You can use it all over the face, which I like because it's an all-in-one product essentially. And you can even use this as your foundation if you wanted to, because I've done that before. I'm in the shade medium. I do have 20% off if you shop through my Glossier link. And that's for first time shoppers only. If you've never purchased from Glossier before, 20% off your entire purchase. But I also do have that link for free shipping if you guys have purchased before, all you have to do is spend $35 or more and you get free shipping. Plus, if you go to that link to shop through, you get to see some of my favorites and a welcome video of why I like Glossier. So I'll leave that for you guys in the description box next to the stretch concealer product. Also tested out for eyeshadow the new Kevin Aquan eyeshadow palette in the Defining Navy palette. And I really love this. You guys know I'm on a cool tone eyeshadow kick right now. I've been playing with navies and grays and I really love the way it looked on me. I think it's a really beautiful palette. My favorite shade in this whole palette is this little bronzy silver, but it's a little cooler than my typical bronze. And I like using this all over my lid, especially if I'm just going to wear groundwork. This has been my go-to MAC Paint Pot groundwork. I'll apply this shimmer all over the lid to give it a little bit more of that dimension. And then I'll go in with this gray tone in my crease, it's a matte, and then I'll deepen it up with this navy shimmer. And what I like about this shimmer is that it's not glittery, it's not overly 
shimmery. It's very subtle and it's a very refined shimmer. So this is going to look good on all age ranges and all skin types. Very refined Kevin Aquan, luxury brand, very good product. Love their powders. It's really easy to use. You don't have to blend a lot. You kind of just place it and feather it out and it looks beautiful. I used it in my recent Instagram Get Ready With Me Live. Basically every week I'm trying to do an Instagram Live Get Ready With Me using all of my Makeup Bag Monday products. The mascara I was using was from Ciate London and it's their Wonder Wand. This packaging is stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful mascara. I personally find the wand to be a little too big for my eye shape. I have Asian eyes so they are a little bit flatter and it's hard for me to get the mascara into in between my lashes. I kept hitting the wand to my actual eyelid so it's easy to clean up but just not the best size for my eye shape. If you have a larger eye shape and more depth like if you have hooded eyes I think you might really enjoy this wand. The formulation is great. It's the perfect amount of wetness and dryness. It doesn't clump. You can definitely build this up. It lengthens and volumizes at the same time and it does not smudge or budge on me throughout the day but it is easy for me to remove with my normal cleanser at the end of my day so I do like the mascara formula I wish they had a thinner wand for my eye shape I was testing out the Lancome Visionaire eye on corrector this is kind of like an eye cream and concealer prep I really like it it gives you this really nice kind of moussey texture that smooths out any of the crow's feet, any of the fine lines under your eyes. It fills out those lines under there so that when you apply the concealer, it goes really smooth over it. So it's an eye treatment and eye primer in one, I feel like, in my opinion. I prefer to use it during the day underneath my makeup for that reason. A little bit goes a long way. If you're super oily under your eyes, I would not recommend it because it does have that slippery feel and that can actually make your eye makeup move around too much. But I have dry under eyes and oily eyelid, so it works beautifully for my dry under eyes as a prep before my concealer because it does fill in those fine lines for me and then gives me a nice smooth surface to apply my concealer and then of course I set it with powder. I was also testing out the Physicians Formula Boost Bronze in Matte Sculpting and I really like this. With these two shades and I would just blend it in between like I'd mix the two on a fluffy brush and I would buff it onto my face in a 3 and an E and it just warms up my face. It gives me a little more dimension, a little bit more color without being super sculpted. Obviously you can definitely sculpt with these products but I like warming up my face with it blends beautifully, really, really easy to work with. This highlight shade I didn't really use, but I did use a couple times on my brow bone to blend out any eyeshadow. The highlight palette I was kind of using is also from Physicians Formula, and this is the Bronze Booster Shimmer Strobing. This was a little intense for me. I'm kind of more on that like less is more right now. So I really like the center shade for a little bit more of an intense highlight. This one is more of like a eyeshadow shade for me, but if you're deeper skin tone, you would really love this. And then this is great for my inner corners. This is great for the center of my lid. This is a little intense for me for every single day as well, but still very good products, very pigmented, very good formula. It's affordable. It's at the drugstore. They're talc free, so it's always good. The last thing from Physicians Formula I was testing out is the Butter Blush in Plum Rose. Now, I like the formulation, I just felt like this was the wrong shade for me because it was almost not there. And I need a little bit more color than this for my blush, like I need a little bit more pop. But the formula is beautiful, it's very soft, it's very buttery, and it's very easy to blend as well. It smells just like the Butter Bronzer, which everybody raved about, and I really like the Butter Bronzer. So if you wanted to check out one of these, I feel like this would look really good on someone slightly fairer than me. And they do have another shade, so I might pick up the other shade when I get a chance. Other highlights I was using were from Onomi, and this is the ACE Illuminate Illuminating Eye Treatment. This is a treatment and illuminator in one, and the reason it's an illuminating eye treatment is because where you highlight is typically where you start to see sagging, age spots, and wrinkles. So this is kind of a great two-in-one product. So I did not like the shade 
Piscopia Champagne because I felt like it was too much like my actual skin tone, but I did really like the shade, Shade 1 Love Lace. So this one, Love Lace, is the one I recommend if you're closer to my skin tone because it's a little bit cooler and pinkier and it shows up a little bit more on your face. Or on your skin so I really enjoyed that one it's a moussey texture so it feels really nice it's really easy to blend out it doesn't accentuate dryness it works well on oily areas it lasts all day plus it's a treatment and color in one so who doesn't love a little bit of that I also tested out the Maybelline brow drama pomade crayon and this is good if you're going to use it with something else this is also really good if you have dry brow areas so I use this with a brow powder still, but there were a couple of days where I just used this and it does fill in your brows and tame them, which is really nice, but you have to set it with powder if you're at all oily because it kind of just slips right off, especially if I need to draw out the little ends right there. But it's a good product. It's the best I found from the drugstore in terms of a pomade slash filler as well. The lip products I was testing out last week were from Lancome and this is the one I'm wearing today. This is the Lancome 359 Hypnotique Sheer Lipstick, and I love this shade. It looks so scary in the tube, but it's super, super sheer, and I just love blending it into my lips like that because it gives this, like, really nice, blackberry stain really comfortable to wear I love I just love it. it it's not super long lasting but it's so comfortable to wear and it fades beautifully and I love the effect it gives I also really enjoyed these new liquid metallic lippies this one is in the shade purple onyx and it was really beautiful to play with it's just perfect for that like little pop in the center of your lip this one was really great as a highlight I highly recommend this one if you're only gonna buy one and this is the shade mirrored nude because you can put it over any color nudes pinks purples reds plums it just gives your lips that pouty look the fragrance I was testing out is from Diptyque and it's eau de well I've had this for a while it's a very warm vanilla scent, but still appropriate to wear every single day. I love wearing this in the winter time because it's just very warm and comforting. It smells like vanilla. It just, it's so cozy. I love it. So I really enjoy it. I still really love it. I'm going to keep it in my fragrance collection. So let's talk about what I'm going to be testing out next week. Now, a few weeks ago, I tested out the Evie Blender, which is the first ever silicone blender I've ever tried. So now I'm going to test out the Makeup Drop. This is cruelty-free, non-toxic paraben free it's the original silicone makeup applicator so so excited that this is in my hands right now one like this one actually just looks like a boob implant I am a huge fan of milk makeup I think they make really innovative makeup products and I wanted to pick up their new marshmallow quads at first the first one that ever came out I remember buying it and like using it all over my face and being like I don't know about this well, it was because I used it wrong. They're actually eyeshadows. Once I realized that, I love them because they're a cream to powder. It's a marshmallow texture. They're so fun to use, and it gives you this sheer wash, so it's the perfect everyday makeup that's also buildable if you want to deepen it up as the day goes or if you go into evening. So I bought the two new ones recently, and this one is in Day Goals, and then I bought Night Goals, so I'll be testing that out. I'm also going to be testing out the new Glossier Cloud Paints. I'm wearing this one, which is Dusk, today all over my cheeks. I love how it blends. You guys know I have major issues with dryness right where my blush and bronzer goes. So super excited about these. I have all four shades and I'll play with these throughout the week. I am also going to be testing out this mascara from Soap and Glory. This is the Thick and Fast Mascara Super Defining 7 Sided Fan Flare 180 Brush High Definition Collagen Coat Formula. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'll also be testing out from Soap and Glory their Archery 2-in-1 Brow Sculpting Crayon and Setting Gel. This is in the shade Brown and Out. For highlight, I have the new Too Faced Love Light Highlights. This is in the shade You Light Up My Life, Blinded by the Light, and Ray of Light. So I'm gonna see how these work. 
They are very, very highlighty, but I think because they're not glittery, I might like them. So we'll see. The packaging is just freaking adorable, though. I'm going to be trying out the Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturizer with Diamond Radiance. This can be used alone underneath foundation, underneath makeup, or over makeup at your highlight points. I've been wearing very minimal foundation lately, so I'm excited to play with this. And for those days that I want a little bit more coverage, I'm going to try out the a Borean CC cream. This is a shade matching CC cream. So there's actual capsules in there that break off and then morph to your skin tone. This has a combination of chemical and physical SPF of 25. It has skincare benefits. It's treating your skin, protecting the skin, hydrating the skin, as well as giving you a nice wash of color. And finally for the week, my new fragrance that I will be playing with is going to be from Pacifica. This is the Tahitian Gardenia Perfume. My mom's favorite flower was gardenias and I actually got a tattoo with a gardenia on it for that reason. So I thought I would pull this fragrance out. I originally purchased it because of my mom and I never ended up giving it to her because of circumstances. So I wanted to pull this out and kind of wear it myself and just be reminded of it because she used to take gardenia flowers and put them in her purse so that her purse would smell like gardenias and therefore she would kind of smell like gardenias. So I wanted to play with this and Pacifica is a cruelty-free non-toxic brand so it's good to know if you guys are interested. Plus they're pretty affordable considering you can purchase them at Target and Ulta with, you can get coupons at Ulta and purchase it. There, that way. So that is everything I'm going to be testing out for the upcoming week. If you'd like to see how the products perform with swatches, demos, and in-depth reviews, make sure to check back here next week for Makeup Bag Monday, week number 31. As always, I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And if that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found my channel. And if anything, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was that you might have needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube videos, and I hope I was able to do that for you as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload four new videos every week. I also have a blog. All of my social medias are above my head. Everything is in the description box, including products, product links, discount codes. Um, check me out on my blog. I do a monthly newsletter where I share personal uh, posts about myself as well as content creator tips. I do exclusive giveaways through my newsletter subscribers over there. And I just, I really love my blog. So I hope you guys take the time to check it out. I also have a podcast that goes up every Friday. And yeah, lots of things. Check out the description box and I will see you guys next time. Bye.